Buddy, how you doing? I love you. Jesus loves you. You're awesome and amazing. And what I wanted to do is share something with you. In Paul, Acts 21. And <clears throat> we'll say that Acts 21 and 29. It's got a text from somebody. I'm trying to block it out. And it says, And all the city was disturbed, and the people ran together, seized Paul, and dragged him out of the temple. See, Paul was preaching, right? And a whole crowd of people, imagine that, preaching, and a whole crowd of people grabbed him and dragged him. brought him to the temple and all the city all the city was disturbed and the people ran together seized Paul and dragged him out of the temple this is Acts 30 and immediately the doors were shut so the all the city <laughs> all the city it says dragged Paul out the city and shut the door now as they were seeking to kill him they dragged him out they were mad at him and they were going to kill him. News came to the commander of the garrison that all Jerusalem was in an uproar. All of Jerusalem. He immediately took soldiers and centurions and ran down to them. And when they saw the commander and the soldiers, they stopped beating him. Okay, so from Acts 29 to 32 they were beating him okay they took him out and they were beating Paul the city all right lots of people then they stopped when they saw the commander and the soldiers then the commander came near and took him and commanded him to be bound with two chains so he just got beat up by a whole crowd of people. Now he's bound with two chains and he asked who he was and what he had done to the crowd. And some among the multitude cried out one thing and some another thing. So when he could not ascertain the truth because of the tumult, everybody was saying he did this and that. He's like, I don't know. I just take him he commanded him to be taken into the barracks 35 when he reached the stairs he had to be carried by the soldiers because of the violence of the mob the mob was so violent that they had to pick him up and lift him up these stairs so that because the crowd was wanting to kill him still the violence of the mob and 36 of Acts chapter 21 for the multitude of the people followed after crying out away with him you know kill him then listen to this beaten tied up in chains having to be carried because of the crowd then as Paul was about to be led into the barracks he said to the commander may I speak to you he replied can you speak Greek and 38 are you not the Egyptian who some time ago stirred up a rebellion and led the 4,000 assassins out into the wilderness? But Paul said, I am a Jew from Tarsus in Cilicia, a citizen of no mean city. And I implore you, permit me to speak to the people. So when he had given him permission, Paul stood on the stairs and motioned with his hand to the people and when they were and when there was a great silence he spoke to them in the Hebrew language saying okay he just got beat up by the crowd all the city all Jerusalem was in an uproar remember he's beat up I mean beat up he's shackled they're trying to take him away to figure out what's going on and they're going up these steps they have to carry him because all the people were wanting to kill him 
And, he, and, and during all that, he said, can I speak? Can I speak? He got permission to speak, and then he waved his hands. So everybody shut up. In 22 of, of Acts, he says, Brethren and fathers, hear my defense before you now. And when they heard that he spoke to them in the Hebrew language, they kept all the more silent. Then he said, I am indeed a Jew, born in Tarsus of Cilicia, who but brought up in the city at the feet of Gamaliel, taught according to the strictness of our father's law, and was zealous toward God as you all today. I persecuted this way to death. He's saying that he was someone who persecuted Christians. Okay? Binding and delivering into prisons both men and women. If you're a Christian, a woman, a man, he was the one that put you there. He went after them. He's given his testimony. Okay? He's, he's preaching about... He's about to talk about what happened to him at Damascus when... When Jesus revealed himself, when his whole life changed, you know, I had to share this with you. You have, you have to really think hard. Beaten by a crowd. I said all the city, all Jerusalem was in an uproar. The soldiers had to come because they heard and save him and they shackled him. They had to carry him because the crowd was too, the mob was too fierce and violent. And still, Stop. Can I speak? And he wants to give testimony about the glory of God and what God did to him. Read it. Read it. Oh, it's a good story. That's true Christianity. Whether When you're beaten, no matter what, you get up if you still can and you preach God's word and you give testimony and you say something and do something that glorifies God. Amen? That's, that's Christianity. At its best. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. It, doing the will of God is, is such... A, it's an honor and a pleasure. It's a privilege. Feeling the presence of God as you go out. As I make these videos, I can feel the Lord. Go. Share. Amen? Amen. I love you and God bless you. In Jesus' name, be healed, be blessed, and I speak angels around your homes, comfort and peace. Amen. Bye-bye.